You can take card payments, but you can also take ACH payments. So ACH payments, um, you create a form in your bubble app and a button, and then you connect that up to the plugin, and then that plugin connects to a back-end workflow, and I'll show you that in a second, and then the payments are taken uh, in the back end and you can then process them in your bubble app. So the, the ACH plugin for Square uses Played and Played looks a little bit like this. So you, depending on which bank you are in the US, um, let's choose Stash, you, the user will be authenticating. So this is exactly how uh, Square, this is using the, squ the Square's method of um, connecting bank, US bank accounts with um, Bubble. So you go through that process and that's going off to process the ACH payment. Um, and then depending on whether it succeeds or failed, that'll be captured in your back-end workflow. This one failed because of the uh, way of payments have been set up uh, in my workflow. So I'll show you what that means in the workflows. So Here's, here's a you know very basic form, username, uh, first name, last name, and a button. And on that button it says make a request. It takes the inf input and out, the given name and family name. And then in the back end what is happening is, which you'll see in the setup, um, this, the um, plugin, this is, how, this is it all being set up, Plugin connects to a back-end workflow. That back-end workflow looks like this. So it connects to Square Make a Payment. And the reason that payment failed is because that was wrong. So in, when you're implementing it, you'll have to do something very similar to this. And then, I mean, it's, it's good practice that having made the payment, then I capture for logging purposes and operational purposes in my bubble app, I capture whether it succeeded the payment ID and debug. Obviously you could go to Square and you could see all this information and then it returns it and that's, that return is being then is what is being processed back on the front end. So with that end-to-end -end process, you can embed uh, ACH payments into your bubble app.